A couple days ago, I was scrolling through Pinterest and I came across this image. So today, I decided to recreate this in Bloxburg. Hey Glossettes, welcome back. How are you guys doing today? Tell me down below as usual. So in today's video, we're gonna build something a little different. As you saw in the first clip, I was scrolling on Pinterest and I randomly came across this image here. If you don't know what this image is from, it's from the kind of fairy tale princess story, The Princess and the Pea, which is a story about a princess. Actually, you know what? Let's have a story time before we begin, but let's just get a bit comfy first. This is much better. Anyways, let me sit and tell you the story of The Princess and the Pea for those of you who don't know already. Let me zoom in here. So The Princess and the Pea is this story about a prince who's looking for a princess to marry and then one day this random girl like knocks on his door and she claims to be a princess but his mum the queen decides that she needs to go through a test first and that test is that she has to sleep on this bed of like 20 mattresses and 20 blankets but it actually has a pea in the middle of it right underneath and apparently if she sleeps well then she's not a princess but if she doesn't sleep well then she is a princess because if she can feel the pea then it means you know she's very delicate and royal because she needs the bed to be soft and somehow she could feel a pee under all these mattresses so she goes to sleep and then she wakes up and they ask how she slept and she said she slept terribly because something was hard on the mattresses and it was the pee that was like under all these mattresses it's a bit of a weird story okay but that's pretty much it and even though the story's a little strange the bed is super cool and i just randomly found it on pinterest and i was like oh my gosh that would be so cool to recreate in Bloxburg, which is what we're gonna go and do now so let's hop into build mode. Let me delete my little story time area and we're gonna begin. I think in the original story it does say there is 20 mattresses and then 20 blankets on top but I think we're just gonna do 20 mattresses because I don't want it to be like mega tall and what I'm gonna do is actually make it usable. So what we're gonna do is can you get a double sleeping bag no you can't i think what i'm gonna do is on the top have the sleeping bags but like double like this so you can actually sleep on the bed so what we need to do is make sure that each mattress is the same size as this so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this smooth cube for the mattresses and i'm just gonna size it to be the same size as these two sleeping bags that are together so we can make sure that these fit like perfectly on the top and then how thick should the mattresses be i feel like this is gonna be tricky we have to make a bed frame and everything maybe like this it's annoying because this is a smooth cube so the bottom's kind of shaded we could use a normal cube and then it wouldn't be shaded at the bottom but I feel like it would look very square so to make it look realistic what if we also use the blanket you know this messy blanket like this and we kind of covered the mattress up with it like this it would kind of cover the sides so it wouldn't be as shaded and it would also look more textured and then just put them on top of each other like this I feel like that looks better I think we should do different shades of color as well oh my gosh wait and we need the pee okay right let's start work on the bed frame in the reference image the bed frame you can't really see the bottom of it but it is like wooden so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a similar bed frame like the bottom bit to this so you can you see how this one looks we're kind of gonna do this but obviously we have to make it custom so i'm gonna grab a basic shape we also need to make sure that the bed frame is slightly bigger than the mattresses just so it fits on perfectly i really hope this looks cute because i've been so excited to build this but anyways, while I'm building the bed frame, how are you guys doing? I've been in Scotland all weekend. If you follow my Twitter, you'll probably know that because I just tweet random stuff I'm doing all the time. But yeah, I went to Scotland for the weekend to see my boyfriend. Actually, is this too tall? Okay, we don't even know how tall it's gonna be, right? We're gonna leave it like this for now. Anyways, yeah, I went to Scotland to see my boyfriend. We went to an aquarium and I wanted to go to an aquarium for like two years. There's literally one near my house and I just haven't been, but I really wanted to. So I finally went to one and oh my gosh, it was so cool it wasn't even just like animals that are in the sea there was like monkeys and meerkats and like tortoises like loads of stuff it was so cool there was jellyfish we watched like penguins get fed which was so cute and the meerkat i have this photo i'll put some photos on screen while i'm talking the meerkats were like smiling when you were taking photos it was adorable but yeah that was super fun also i am way too excited for the roblox egg hunt or just the roblox hunt if you didn't know they've been like leaking and teasing things about this 
hunt that's gonna happen and everyone thinks it's gonna be an egg hunt because we haven't had a roblox egg hunt in years at this point and i love them so much so i'm mega excited to see what they're up to and i will be filming each egg so if it is an egg hunt i will be telling you like how to get each one i really hope it's an egg hunt i'm gonna be so disappointed if it's not anyways i'm working on the kind of back frame of the bed and it's on like a separate piece so if this isn't how tall the bed's gonna be we can just make it taller and then add this back on the top but obviously i don't know how much space 20 mattresses is gonna take up we also need to make sure we put the p right at the bottom as well but i'm just gonna add some details on this actually you know what i think i'm gonna do is i think i'm gonna add a crown pillow for the middle detail basically a good hack to add details to your build like on bed frames and stuff is to use pillow shapes and just resize them really small so for example the crown we can make this kind of like this big and then you can transform it and you can pop it on the front and it looks like a wooden detail carved into the bed i love doing stuff like this my detective desk in my detective agency has kind of these details on the front so yeah it's just a fun little hack if you're wanting to add more little details but you don't really want to you know use structurals or basic shapes to actually build something you can just use pillows to make super cute details i'm just trying to work out what color to do the details maybe a slightly darker wood like this okay that kind of works maybe we could add some kind of lines in gold as well just to make it a bit more royal okay let's add some swirly details i've added both the hearts a little swirl here oh it's so hard to make these symmetrical one there is that symmetrical okay and now we're just gonna make this kind of gold i don't actually like gold i was saying this in one of my last videos i only wear like silver jewelry and stuff but i feel like gold is very princessy and you know what we're just gonna use it i feel like this is a very weird gold shade though now i'm doing this i'm in the mood to kind of do like you know the rose from beauty and the beast and like the the thing that like aurora pricks her finger on in sleeping beauty this is putting me in the mood to just build a bunch of princess stories so if you guys enjoy this video let me know and maybe i'll do some more wait i feel like the gold doesn't look very good what if i just made it all wood i feel like it stands out too much this is the bed frame so far we need to add the bottom bit though i haven't added like a bottom frame wait what if we just add this one again but on the bottom like that would that be okay okay you know what we're gonna do that anyways we're gonna leave the frame like this for now because obviously for the things like pillars and the bit around the top we need the mattresses there to see how tall it's gonna be so it's time for the p because we need to place this on the bottom but i am considering like should we put a mattress down first you have to get like right under it to copy and paste it with the blankets on should we have a mattress first and then a p and then the other 20 mattresses on top because i don't really want to place it just on the wooden board so i think i'm gonna do that to make the p we're gonna grab a sphere we're gonna make it green obviously we need a good p color maybe that okay this is our p obviously it's not gonna be that big we're gonna make it small <laughs> here it is so it's just gonna go like right in the middle like this this is our p guys and now what we can do is we can go and add all of the mattresses it's so hard to copy and paste this oh my gosh okay but i don't want to make them just like kind of straight on top of each other i want to make them kind of wonky in different colors so you can really tell they're like layered so this one's going to be slightly slanted so yeah they're going to be a bit more random at the end i'll go through and make them like different shades of pink maybe some yellow maybe some blue maybe we'll mix it up a bit today oh i feel like this is going to be so tall like we've only done two well technically three and it's already this big this is going to be so tall i should have made them thinner oh my gosh we've already reached the headboard oh my goodness how am i gonna fit this in the thumbnail it's just gonna keep going okay how many have i done you know what i'm gonna count the bottom one as one because i don't want to have it ridiculously tall so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so far so this is 11 12 13 14, 15, 16. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. 17, 18, 19, 20. This is the top one right here. Are they still going outwards? Yeah, they are. I'm gonna have to move them back. I keep doing it all wonky. And then for the top one, we're gonna delete this and we're gonna add our sleeping bag thingy. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely insane. Okay, the next thing we need to do quickly is just make this as tall as the mattresses. So, oh my gosh, I've just doubled it and it wasn't tall enough. So we're gonna have to do it even taller. And then let me grab the headboard again. We can pop this on top like, this hang on i want to move this so it's like straight so this is what it's gonna look like this is how tall it's gonna be let's mix the colors up here so first what we're gonna do is add kind of like different pink shades i think i'm gonna add other colors like blue and yellow and stuff i know guys oh my gosh glossy using color i don't think i can handle this maybe we should even kind of change the textures on some of the blankets so it really is like loads of different mattresses put together or maybe i should stop making the mattresses the exact same color as the thing on top because i feel like it's kind of weird 
weird. We need a nice yellow shade. I think this one's pretty cute, this kind of pastel yellow. And then we're gonna do a nice blue. Oh my gosh, I love this default blue. The, what's it called? Fog, it is so cute. Do we do green as well? Green like the pea? I may be using color guys, but I'm not gonna go too overboard, okay? Okay, <laughs> this is so cool. What different patterns can I add? Because I love textures, but obviously they kind of dull the colors of a lot of things. Actually, I might just keep it without textures. All right, next we need the ladder. The ladder is gonna be so tall. We're gonna make it custom as well, just because I don't really like the ladder we have in game that much. So what I'm gonna do is add a structural piece on the floor and then lead it all the way up. Okay, that's not straight. We're gonna rotate this a bit, but we're basically gonna make our own ladder frame. And then what we're gonna do is grab a smaller piece and just draw little things in between. We're also gonna make it wonky. Now, if you've seen my videos before, especially my smaller house builds where I'll have like ladders to go up to the second floor. I like doing wonky custom ones. I don't know why, it just feels cute. I also wanna make it climbable though. You can climb like custom ladders, but I don't know if the gaps in this one are gonna be too big, but we'll see. Also, I went to Ikea today and I'm actually gonna do a video linked to Ikea very soon, but I just love Ikea so much. I love the food. Now, I don't like the meatballs, which I feel like is everyone's favorite Ikea food because I don't even like meatballs, but like the chips are so good, the cake, like the dame cake. Oh my gosh, the cinnamon rolls are so good. I just love Ikea. I used to always go, you know, like the kids, I don't know if all Ikeas have this, but my one where I live have like, they have like these kids like daycare things in England, Ikeas, and you can just like drop a kid off there while you shop. I used to go to those all the time and they have like the ball pit and everything. Should we test out the ladder? Okay, wait, let me color it first. I hope this works. Okay, here we go. I feel like because Princess in the Pea is a very old fairy tale, my modern like queen outfit is not kind of matching it. Oh my gosh, wait, okay, wait, the ladder works perfectly. This is so tall. At least the ladder works. Let's continue. What else do we need to do? So we need to decorate the bed area, like the pillows, and we also need to do the top bit of the bed. So in the inspo image, they have like these curtains and this like roof on the bed, and I'm actually gonna try and make it. I don't know how easy this is gonna be. Now the only way I can think of, really. So if we put a wall here and then we grab the structural piece, like the standard round rod, we can then like drag it down. And if we got rid of the wall, it would kind of stay. I'm gonna put this kind of closer because then it won't go as far in. This sounds confusing. I'm not making sense. Okay. But anyways, we're gonna make the curtain thing out of like these structural pieces. Because if you look on the thing, it's kind of like the round kind of shape of it, like how it lays. I'll work on it in a second. Anyways, we're gonna make like a little curtain. So then I just kind of started working on the curtains, which was kind of boring and took quite a while. I just added them around each side and obviously I would delete the wall afterwards so it was just the curtain. And then I tried to make the longer curtain part at the back, like the reference image, but then I realized quite quickly because of the uneven mattresses sticking out, it honestly just didn't look good and looked a mess. So I decided to just stick with only having it around the top of the bed area and then to add a bit more detail to all the mattresses, I added more blankets and also smaller ones that kind of stuck out a bit more and it looked more layered and rough and that's pretty much it. I think it looks super cute. Okay, so now the kind of main part of the bed is done. The last thing we kind of need to do is the top bit. So add like cute pillows and decorations. I kind of want to add like a little tray with maybe some flowers on it and like a candle to lighten this bit up a little bit more. But what I'm going to do quickly is just gather a bunch of kind of like pillows. So I'm going to add some giant kind of chunky white ones, then these rectangles in front and let's add this one. This can be blue. We just want to fill this area with just a ton of pillows. I really struggle to make pillows look good as well so I'm kind of worried that this isn't going to turn out great because I'm just not very good at pillow arrangements <laughs> which if you've watched my videos before you'll probably know. Like I feel like this does not look good so far. Like what is this? Am I overcomplicating this by having too many? Because I feel like that kind of more of a simple pillow look actually looks quite good and then maybe if I have the crown so this can be like a yellow one, maybe a heart one on the other side and like a bear. Also, should I add like wooden bows like on the bed post? I feel like that looks really cute. But yeah, do we like this? Oh wait, let me get rid of this pillow. Do we like this for the pillow arrangement? I kind of just want to keep it more simple. I feel like that's kind of okay. It's not the best, but it'll do. I'm also gonna add like a random stray pillow, kind of like this. And then also one of the random blankets on the bottom. And then I want to add a little tray with like a candle just for a tiny bit more detail, like a wooden tray 
maybe the log one because it's round and it's kind of cute. Like a little breakfast tray type thing. We could even add kind of like handles on it. You know what? Let's do that. I'm going to try and add handles. We're going to use structural pieces for the handles, of course. Okay, there we go. Then we can just add some cute little things on like a gift box and then a candle just to brighten this up because it's so dull up here like this is that good enough like the pillows okay ignore the pillows okay it's annoying me i feel like it looks too kind of cartoonish with like the crown maybe i should get rid of that and just have the bear maybe we should have a bigger bear like this guy oh my goodness it's a giant i'm gonna tuck him into the bed <laughs> oh my gosh maybe it's his bed maybe he's the princess all along he does look like it doesn't he anyways i think I think this is it. Are we done? He does look very cozy up here. And now it's time for a little tour of the build. Now you may have noticed an outfit change. I added a more kind of classic princess outfit to fit the theme of princess in the pea a bit more. But yeah, we have a more dark color scheme with the like cone princess hat. We are gonna go and check out our bed for the night. Oh my gosh, look how the skirt moves. Anyways, so this is our princess in the pea bed. It is ridiculously tall. It's like over three stories, but it looks super cool. I'm so proud of it. Oh, don't look at the back okay it's a mess i think it looks super cute and then if we look under here we have our pee our pee is tucked under here we are gonna climb up to our bed and get a good night's sleep and i actually sleep in it well let me sleep oh my gosh i'm under the pillows wait can i rest okay you can just about see my face oh no but this is the top of the bed we also have our little curtain thing up here super cute but this is our very ginormous bed and that is pretty much it for today's video it was a super random build idea i just really wanted to make it but let me know what you think i think it's pretty cute let me know if you'd want to sleep here or would the pee bother you too much but that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed as usual a huge shout out to my channel members thank you so much for joining the channel and i will see you guys later oh also if you want to see more like princess story themed item builds then let me know and i'll do it but yeah i love you all so much closets and i'm off to have a nice rest in my bed i'm gonna go have a snooze xoxo glossy girl